Okay, this is a quick demo of the um, true slider for SharePoint. And the first thing you see is the slider on the page. Um, on the slider, you'll see uh, that uh, on the left-hand side, you'll see the different tabs. Those are representing the different articles that are being pulled out of the list, whether a pages list or a blog list. Um, okay, this is the title of the article, and this is the supporting subheader of the title, uh, a brief description that uh, can be opted to show here. And this is the image. The image is uh, an image that can be inserted and it will be auto-adjusted uh, to fit the size. And then finally here, when the user clicks on the image or the read full story, it will take them directly to the black site. So let's go ahead and do that. And here you go, I go directly to the blog site. Generally, we, ge uh, we like to choose blog site just because it has a better presentation than a regular announcements list, which looks more like a SharePoint list. While this is a full-blown page uh, that can have images and uh, may seem a little bit more user-friendly. Okay, so let's demo real quick uh, how to add a new item. Adding a new item to the slider is really designed to be super easy for the end users to follow. There is no cropping of images, sizing, or anything like that. Okay, let's take a look. Let me navigate to uh, the list where this list is pulling from. The easiest way is to click on read full story, which will take me to the uh, site quickly. I'm going to go to site contents, and then I will go to post. You'll see here there are six items. This is where the items are coming from. Now, adding items is very easy. Um, instead of adding a new item, I'm just going to edit this just to show you what the components are. Okay, so here's the title. This is the thing that appears on uh, as a title of the item. Here's the body. The body doesn't show in the slider. It shows, obviously, after you click on it. That's the real body of the, of the article. Uh, category is not being used. Uh, published date. This is the date that you want the item to appear. Um, on the slider. Uh, before this date, the item will never show up. Um, only after the date, it will start showing up. The summary is the uh, text, the small text that appears on the slider right underneath the, uh, the title. Okay, so this could be anything. This could be adjusted. And this is the image. Notice here the image has different proportions. Uh, what the thing does is it will auto size that. Now how do you insert the image? As a user, all the user has to do really to insert an image is to go to insert uh, picture from computer address or SharePoint. So from computer, if you have something on your computer, you can uh, it will upload it and automatically place it in here. Uh, from address, uh, this obviously is a URL. Maybe you have uh, an image somewhere on the internet that you want to just kind of reference without pulling it into SharePoint, you can do that. And then from SharePoint, maybe you have it already in SharePoint and you can reference it in, and show it up here. Okay, and all this is, is uh, even though it says image, it's actually here a text editor, uh, a rich text editor, right? So all we, we do when we insert it, we'll just pop this image in here. Okay, so just to show you a proper demo here, I'm going to delete that image and I'm going to insert and then image from computer and then we will find that very same image. Okay, I did a quick search for it here and here it is. This is coming from my computer and we're going to hit open and where do we want to upload it to? We specify that we hit OK and automatically is just going to populate the image. This is just showing us a preview of the image. And then we save the image, it automatically puts it in here. And then we're done. So this is gonna be used. The expires field is used uh, to uh, stop images from showing up in the slider. So after this date, uh, the image or this post won't show up in the slider anymore. So let's make this sometime in the future so we can actually see it in action here. So we're gonna change that to Actually, let's change it to 2018. Okay. And then the alternate link, this is a very useful option. What this is, is a, it is a link or a URL that you can put here 
that will override the default click of the slide. The default click of the slide will take you to the article itself. This is if to say you have you know, a press release or a PDF or a document located somewhere else or even a page located somewhere else that you want uh, people to go to when they click on the slide instead of going to the post itself here. Okay, so you could use that, it will override. Um, and let's go ahead and publish. Let's go back to our slider here. And if we scroll down here, we will see the item here just got added. Now before, we used to have three items on the left hand side. So now that we have four items, uh, the slider intelligently ro starts rolling the content just like you saw here. So if I click on the Seattle office is moving, um, it starts moving up and down, right? So if I click on join our Christmas party, so there's actually more than three here. It's able to handle more than three uh, pretty intelligently. Okay. Okay, the other thing to note is that the slider is uh, responsive, right? So meaning whatever size is given, it kind of tries to fit itself as best as possible inside that space. So if I drag the edge of the window and start, uh, you know, moving it to the left, you'll see here how it adjusts to the size of the window that, that it's that it's in. And this is very powerful because we just don't know exactly how much space or real estate we have on our SharePoint sites. Okay, so this is uh, how the slider looks. Now, some of the configurations that we have here, the slider comes with a configuration editor, right? This is showing, um, you know, the location of the files. This is the type of list that we want to read from. Is it a page or a blog list? Um, here is the path of the list. Um, and here are the mappings of the columns. So here's the list that we want to pull information from. We want to pull information from the post list. Um, here is the expired field, which field we want to use for expired, for publish on, which order do we want to, which field do we want to use to order. Um, oftentimes you use publish, but you could use an order date, an order rank, you know, a specific number that you specify, where the higher number is the higher the rank of the image. Uh, the image field, the title field, the summary field, and the alternate field link. Right? So you can specify all those here in the configuration. Now this configuration, all it does is it modifies settings.js. So you can actually open settings.js and modify the uh, file, uh, those settings directly from within there. Uh, the slider also comes with some alternative views. So for example, if you don't want to show the left-hand side here at all, maybe you just want to show uh, the text, we have another view. To switch to the other view, all we have to do is, um, you know, take the style two. So we're in style one right now. Here's style two. We're going to copy the content of style two onto, I just hit control copy on my keyboard and then I'm going to paste them onto the root here. Okay. And it will actually show something like this. So let's refresh the page. scroll down and you'll see here what happened is slightly different layout um, where the thumbs were on the left those were gone and then the text actually is now showing up in the center okay with the little uh, moving thumbs here the slider comes with a uh, full source code this means that uh, you'll be able to modify anything any behavior about the slider uh, the timing the size the height the width the colors all that is modifiable um, the best way to, you know, kind of see what something's going to look like is by right-clicking here, doing inspect, and then modifying a color directly from here just to kind of see what it's going to look like. Okay, so let's do a quick exercise of that. So if I come here, uh, I select this to select an element on the page, click on this, and I uh, clicked on the UL here. You'll see here the color, right? If I change that to say yellow, there you go. We just modified the color here. And obviously this is a CSS called slider style.css. We can go in there and modify that directly. 
This is pretty much the demo of the slider and the features that it comes with. It's designed to be super easy for the end user to use, uh, pretty easy to install. You don't need to install anything on the server side. It works with SharePoint 2010, 2013, and Office 365.